Thank you to those that have come before me. I'd like to bring a contribution to this discussion by talking to you about an experience that has just uh, concluded itself. It's an agreement that we have signed with Fudora and the European group to uh, which it belongs, which is Delivery Hero. We have signed an agreement that determines the participation of workers to the life of the group. And it was a uh, negotiation that started subsequent to the decision of Delivery Hero to become a European company, which, as you may know, it is a specific kind of transnational company based on a European norm, a directive and a norm that, uh, by the way, also foresees the participation and the involvement of workers at a company level through procedures that must be uh, defined uh, through bargaining. And a delegation was uh, created from representatives of the 14 countries from which a Delivery Hero operates at a European level and they uh, discussed with um, group management. And I won't hide that in the six months of this uh, negotiation, there have been very distant positions, sometimes almost uh, uh, impossible to agree, to let them agree with one another, and uh, also among the management and the delegation of uh, that was supposed to negotiate because the representatives of these uh, countries were reasoning based on the legal laws of their individual countries, which is different uh, from one country to another. So this um, determined that even among the delegation, there were managers, there were human resources uh, managers, there were sales managers, there were those that signed conventions with local subjects. Regardless, we managed to reach an agreement that actually uh, grants participation uh, to the life of the group for workers. How? Through two different tools. The first is a European Works Council, a European Works Council whose members are the representatives of the countries in which the company operates, and it's a European Works Council that has the right to information and consultation. So that means it receives preemptively and for detailed information on what are the plans, the programs, and the uh, direction towards which a group is going, dismissals, restructuring, and uh, everything that is concerns or could concern employment levels, and based on these programs, the European Works Council can propose, express proposals that the group must take in consideration. But even more importantly, the agreement determines that workers can have representatives within the supervisory board. The supervisory board is a fundamental body in the life of the group. And uh, just yesterday there were just six representatives of investors. Uh, starting from uh, in the future, these six investors will have to face uh, other uh, opinions because the other stakeholders will be present in just the same amount and they will have the right to vote. So these tools, it was hard to implement them, to, to obtain uh, the implementation of these tools because we had the continuous and pressing example of other companies that actually yeah, companies from the digital economy, let's call it like that. Other companies that with the, with the support of workers uh, denied the right of involvement, participation, and information, or, or any way they reduced drastically the power of workers. So we managed to obtain these tools that have a very specific and uh, practical effect. These are tools. They're tools, so they're useful as far as uh, they are used well. Um, if we manage, thanks to these tools, to reach the decision-making uh, rooms, let's say, 
that influence the lives of riders, but also all the staff that operates in the back office of the companies that are affiliated to Delivery Hero. So these are tools through which these uh, decision-making processes can be exposed and uh, practic let them talk to those who practically take decisions uh, in person not uh, just uh, email addresses or apps or automa automa automated uh, bots uh, that don't actually give any power to, to, to actually have a conversation. But we can't uh, in any way uh, give up to a local or national uh, terrain of bargaining because we must find institutional uh, subjects to talk with, a political subject that can recognize the value of this uh, work and so that we can assign uh, specific safeguards and minimum standards to these platforms, regardless of the worker's status, because it's not that a directly employed worker has the right to everything and an uh, independent worker, autonomous worker, hasn't got the right to anything. So regardless of the status, it is uh, right that working on this platform must be protected. Must There must be a salary which is uh, proportional to the amount of hours work. There must be a minimum amount of working hours, weekly working hours. There must be an insurance against injuries, maintenance of equipment, sickness leaves, um, premium salaries in case of holiday work or uh, having to work in, uh, in hostile climate conditions. In addition, I also want to say that these tools are not enough because they must be uh, supported by a trade union alliance that can give strength and voice to the rights and the reasons of workers under the flag of solidarity because Regardless of the nationality, workers working from these platforms are very similar. And we must form a common front under the flag of solidarity and uh, create a common front, which is certainly the best tool to advance and to obtain more rights. Thanks to this, we obtained the first Foodora Network meeting in Vienna, and trade unionists and writers uh, compare their experiences coming from various countries of the European Union and they compared uh, their experience and tried to imagine some joint activities. This is a first step to uh, protect and uh, give a voice to these workers which are invisible but they produce real profits for the multinational companies and this journey must be intersectoral and it must express itself under the uh, protection of confederation, uh, European confederation first of all. And I'm saying this because this sector is hard to, to define through classic uh, categories. It is a company that offers services. It's also a company that employs riders, so maybe transportation. It's also revolutionizing collective uh, catering. It's also, uh, it also talks to um, the catering food supply chain, public service. It's a revolution. It's a revolution that has to be managed, and it has to be managed in a fair and uh, and in solidarity, so that workers aren't uh, forgotten, they don't fall into oblivion, and we must be a, a light for them, both in the workplace and out of the workplace. I thank you for your attention. I, of course, here am available for questions and comments, and I really wish that, with all my heart, that this journey can continue and can be strengthened by the contribution of uh, everybody, trade unions, um, thanks to a confederal and intersectoral approach. Thank you and I wish you well.